Hello, everybody, and good evening. Good evening. We're starting Hi, one minute. Hi, what's up, guys? What's up? How you doing? Good evening, teacher. One more day, huh? How are you? How are you, my people? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm doing terrific. Thank you for asking. I'm ready for my class. Having a nice and successful day at work. And I'm oh, going to I'm finish ready. my day with my basic module to students. Welcome to the class. Needless to talk about, let's um recap what we saw yesterday. Do you remember what we saw yesterday in the class? Do you remember? What do you remember? What do you remember? Adverbs of frequency, teacher. Adverbs of Adverbs. frequency. Frequency. Free or, or, or frequency adverbs, whatever way you want to say it. Can you tell me what are the adverbs of frequency? Sometimes. Sometimes. Always. Always. That's my favorite. Often. Never. Often. Okay. Never. Sometimes. 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 Never. Hardly Never. ever. Never. Never. Usually. Yes, usually. Uh -huh. Never. Correct. Now, those are the basic ones, right? And there are many other um, adverbs of frequency. You just need to study them, okay? Let me share with you a little link where you can study you can study, right? The adverbs of frequency. Let's see. I'm pasting this uh, link in the chat here in uh, Zoom. You could you could post it on the WhatsApp chat for me, please. Can somebody do that? Bueno, ahí van a ver una tablita que es la primera que quiero que vean donde salen todos los adverbs of frequency. Ahí salen unos que no nos aparecen acá en la plataforma, como por ejemplo, occasionally. Repeat, occasionally. 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 Y también está hardly ever. Ah, no, hardly ever si sí salía, ¿verdad? Pues está seldom. Repeat, seldom. 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 Mm -hmm. seldom. Study that link. Study that link, okay? In the meantime, in the meantime, let's have a little conversation. A ver, um, ¿cómo saber cuando me están haciendo una pregunta de frecuencia? How often? Así es, y la pregunta comienza con how often. Um, nos obliga a dar la fórmula. Subject, adverb of frequency, verb, complement. ¿Cuál era la otra forma? Do you ever? Do you ever? Si la pregunta no lleva ever, entonces es una yes, no question. Van a decir yes, I do, no, I don't. Pero si la pregunta lleva ever, do you ever? Entonces te están pidiendo ever, ever, alerta. Adverb of frequency. Um, Antes de irnos a un poquito de práctica, eh, hay otras formas de dar frecuencia, ¿ok? Que no son adverse of frequency, pero son correctas. Se las quiero enseñar ahorita. Eh, como cuando decimos una vez. Vamos a decir once. Once a day. Repeat, once a day. Once a day. Once a, day. Once a, once a day. week. Once a day. Once a month. Once a year. Once a year. 
um, una vez. Esto iría al final, ¿verdad? Once a day, once a week, once a month, once a year. Esto es cuando no usamos un adverb frequency, pero siempre estamos dando una frecuencia. How often do you um, take a shower? Puedes decir, I always take a shower, usando la fórmula, o puedes decir, I take a shower once a day. Once a day, una vez al día. Repeat, once a day. Once a day. Once, once a day. una vez, once a day. Once a week. Once a week es una vez a la, a la semana. Once a week. Once a month. Once a month es una vez al mes. Repeat, once a month. Mes. Once, once a, month. a month. Once a month. Once a year. Once a year. Once, once a, year. a year. Una vez once al año. Vamos con dos veces. Dos veces se dice twice. 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 Igual, vamos a decir dos veces al día se diría twice a day. Repeat, twice a day. Twice, twice a, a day. Week. Twice a week. Twice a week. Twice, twice a, a month. Week. Twice a month, twice a year. Ya, si vamos a hablar de más, ya entramos con los números. Ahí ya sería tres veces, sería el número three y la palabra times. Three times. Tres veces al día. Por ejemplo, how often do you brush your teeth? Puedo decir, I brush my teeth three times a day. Repeat. I brush my teeth three times a day. I Same brush name thing. <laughs> I three Me times encanta esa pasión que muestran siempre, guys. I <laughs> love it. That energy, <laughs> that power, that enthusiasm. <laughs> Vamos a decir, I brush. Hey, la acción es brush. Cepillar. Brush. My teeth. I brush. I brush my teeth. I brush, I brush my teeth. Three times a day. Three times a day. Ok, vamos a hacer conversation, conversation time, uh, about frequency, frequency activities, activities mm, diferentes de solo comer, right? Ayer estábamos usando eat, eat, también where, 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 but ahorita usamos todos los verbos que podamos, ok? So my question is for my students, students, how often do you travel? I sometimes travel. Thank you so much, Tamar, right? Yes, Akir. Daniela, usually, okay, go uh, ahead. I'm sorry, repeat. I usually travel. I usually. usually. Okay, usually. I usually uh, travel. You usually travel. Okay, I understand, Gabriela. Somebody else? I never travel. You never travel. It's okay. It's okay. Me too. Me too. I never travel. <laughs> okay. Any I, other example? I hardly, I hardly ever travel. You hardly ever travel. At least you have a little portion. Nos dice ahí una pequeña posibilidad de un día, quizás a la semana o a la quincena, que probablemente tú tengas la oportunidad de salir, right? Never eh, ese es el contexto. Never, nosotros ahí sería zero. Never, never. Okay, one more question. One more question. Guys, do you ever, do you ever drive a car? I usually drive a car. Thank you, Juan. I never drive a car. I never drive a car. Thank you, Karen. I Thank never you, Tamar. Drive a car. You I never drive a car? You never drive a car? I hardly ever drive a car. You hardly ever drive a car? Hmm. I sometimes drive, drive a car. I sometimes, sometimes. drive. Drive. 
drive a car. Yes. Go, Carlos. I usually drive a car. Same with Juan, huh? You usually, you guys usually, uh, Juan, Juan and Carlos usually drive a car. Mm -hmm. I Cuando never hablamos drive en, a car. You never drive a car? Cuando hablamos en tercera no. persona, le ponemos la S al verbo drive. Sería drives. Voy a decir, drive. Elena never drives, drives a car. A car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, make a question. Volunteers for making a question. How often? Give me a how often question for the class. Me, teacher. Proceed. How often do you play sports? Wow, that's a nice question. Okay, guys. How often do you play sports like basketball, soccer, uh, running, swimming, fishing, etc.? How often do you play sports, volunteers? Or you don't play sports at all, huh? I play tennis once a day. Once a day you play tennis? You must be good. Yes. You must be a good tennis player, Daniela. In my case... I hardly ever play sports. You hardly ever play sports? Yes. Amar? What, what's your yes. favorite sport, Amar? Um, my favorite sport is soccer. Oh, nice. Nice. Yes. Okay. I like it. I like it, too. In my case, I I play, um, let me see, I sometimes play sports. Good I question. I sometimes play soccer. You sometimes play soccer. Okay, that's nice. I always, always play softball. Softball. Okay, nice. Thank you. How this often? Power. Yes, women's power. Vamos a hacer un reto, entonces. Girls and boys, huh? Playing soccer. Pero no virtually, sino presential. <laughs> right? Right, Will? All right. Um, How often does teacher Kalev speak Spanish in class? Hello. Repeat, please. <laughs> Teacher, repeat, please. Yes, yes, yes. How often, it's in third person, how often does Teacher Kalev speak Spanish in this class? Teacher Kalev hardly ever speaks Spanish. This girl rock and rolls. Speaks. Speak. Speaks. Good job, Daniela. That's a third person example. Um, can somebody make a different question now? Different question. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Proceed, Peralta. Okay. Um, how often do you practice your English to improve? How often do you practice your English to improve? Wow. Uh-huh. I'm all ears. How often <laughs> do you practice your English, huh, guys? But you, not in the English practice. class. Don't confuse, not in the English class. It's you. How often do you personally practice your English? I practice always my English in my house. Okay, you have one mistake. We have one mistake, Juan. Remember, there, there is an order. There is an order. Subject. Uh, Repeat your example. Try. I. I, pra I practice. Uh, uh, Abro frequency. I always practice my English. There you go, sir. That is the order when you use a number of frequency. All right? 
All right. Okay. Uh, what about what about the other students? How often do you practice your English? Uh, Juan Jose always practices his English. What about you? I always practice my English every day. I believe you. That, I believe you. <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> Hello, guys. Talk to me. Ya no los voy a ver. Hablemos Teacher. ahorita. Uh -huh. Teacher. How often do you listen to music? Muy buena pregunta, Miss Carla, creo que es, pero Carlos, creo que tenías, you have a question, Carlos? Yes, I have a question. Uh, no. Uh, uh, for example, how, how often do you eat Chinese food? Ajá. Uh -huh. Está buena. How often do you eat Chinese, Chinese food? It's a good question. Vamos a ver, Carla, Carla era, Carla, repeat your question, please. Yes. How often do you listen to music? Okay. It's good. How often do you listen to music? Okay. Excellent questions, guys. Thank you. Um, thank you for the speaking practice. We always do a speaking practice in my class. The first block of my class every day, we always do speaking practice. Thank you for your participation. Oops, no era eso, no era el link que les compartí. Lo guardan, chicos, y lo estudian, please. Let me share my screen so we can finalize one more objective today. Here we go. Already, let's see. Can you see my screen? Yes, I see. La veo rara. One second. It looks a little weird. Five point one. Let me refresh. Let me refresh this. Vamos a refrescarlo. Okay. There you go. That's what he needed. Let me go ahead and um, share my screen one more time. We're gonna watch this video and then we will proceed. Talking about sports and season vocabulary. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, People play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I... Teacher, this is a review model one. Basketball. Try to give as many Hello? examples as you Se me colapsó otra vez. The review? The review of the Model 1? 
Mm, no, este es, I'm sorry. Hmm. One second, please, one second. My apologies. Porque ese es el 2. y algo y vamos por el 5.1. 5.1, sí, aquí está. Estábamos viendo lo de la hora, ¿verdad? What time is it and everything. ¿Cómo se decía? Let me see. No, 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 no. Era lo de los apps of frequency, que no, y después seguía los. Ahí está en lo correcto, teacher. En el 5.1 estamos. Sí, estaba bien, Miss, me aflige. Sí, es que ahí en el video aparece el 2.1, pero. Oh Estamos my bien. goodness. <risas> uh, no me podía pasar dos veces, dije yo. Ok, aquí vamos. I get nervous, I get nervous. <risas> here we go, here we go. Bueno, solo un pedacito nos faltaba. Let me check. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Igual, tuve que desconectar todo. Está tronando fuerte. Por tres, por cinco, por seis. Oh, my God. Tanto así. <ríe> eh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. All right, people. So, here is some examples example, about what we can do this... during these uh, seasons. Seasons son las uh, partes de... Del año, ¿verdad? Las, las, um, ¿cómo se dice? Um, estaciones del año. Stations, ajá, uh -huh, estaciones del año, thank you. Um, for example, in El Salvador, we don't have them all, ¿verdad? No tenemos todas las estaciones, pero hay que conocerlas, right? Spring, for example, in spring, I play soccer, right? In spring, I play soccer. In spring, I play um, golf, for example. In the summer, I play baseball. I play tennis in the summer. In El Salvador, in the summer, people go, people go surfing, right? In El Salvador. People in El Salvador, let me see, in summer, people go, people go to the beach. Yeah, people go to the beach. In the fall, in otoño, in the fall, people play football, people um, go bike riding or go hiking. A ver, ¿hay algún deporte que no me entiendan acá, de los que están acá, chicos? Por ejemplo, Ay, este. Me. Go ahead. Hiking. 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 Mm -hmm. hiking. Ese también pensaba yo. Hiking es como... Eh, tomar una caminata. Acuérdense que también podemos decir take a walk. Hiking es caminata. Hiking. Este, este que está acá. Go hiking. Go hiking. También lo encontrarán como take a walk. Take a walk. Take a walk uh -huh. sería como... A walk, dijo. Ajá, sí lo puse en el chat. Cuando ustedes dicen take a walk, es que van a tomarse una caminata cerca, ¿verdad? Cerquita de la casa, en los alrededores. Cuando ustedes dicen go hiking, ya estamos hablando de una caminata ya más seria, ¿verdad? De, de horas, quizás. Eh, long distance. ¿Ok? Uh, what sports do you play, for example? What sports do you play in summer, guys? What sports do you play in summer? Um, for the, uh, the example, basket. Um, in mm -hmm. the soccer, soccer también. Football. Basket, uh -huh. Football. So in summer, yeah, in the summer, yeah, Win. in the summer, I play soccer. Yes. 
In Say. The summer, I skateboarding. Skateboarding. Yes. In the summer, I practice skateboarding. Who else? In the winter, uh, I play softball. Yep. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Awesome. Somebody else? In the summer, going to the beach. In the summer, I go. In the summer, porque estamos hablando aquí, estamos hablando en presente simple, ¿verdad? Siempre es como una rutina, el verbo va en su forma base. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's follow up, let's follow up. Let me share my screen here with you. We have WH questions, WH questions. Um, In present simple, let's continue practicing. to ask and answer simple present w hi everyone in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present wh questions additionally you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports? Who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus wit. 
As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask who, where, Already, we have the WH questions. We have what, who, remember, who goes connected with, with, who, with, okay? We have where, how often, when, cuando, when, and what time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if I ask you, let me see, what sports do you play? You will say, I play hockey and baseball. I play, I play, I play, we play, we practice, we practice, we start. Simple present. Okay. So, what class do you have? What? class do you have um. What time? What class do you have, guys? English class. That's incomplete. You need a subject, you need a verb, you need a complement. I have an English class. I have English class. I have English classes. Repeat, I have English, English classes. English classes. Okay, who do you have the class with? I have uh -huh. class with teacher Colette. Teacher Colette. Yes, I have my class with teacher Kalev with my and my classmates in my classmates okay where do you have your english class i have my english class where? in How my well. house Did house when? correct what time i have my english class at home okay and how often do you have your English class? I, I, I have every day my English class. I, I always have English classes. Um, do you have English classes on Saturdays and Sundays? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so we cannot use we cannot use always. Tenemos que modificarlo. Tiene que ser uno con menos porcentaje, menos frecuencia. Can you repeat the question please? Sure. How often do you have your English class. I hardly ever my English class. 
Vaya, me dijiste, I hardly ever te comiste el verbo. I have my English class. On weekend. Night. On weekend? Night. Night. No. Night. At night. At night. At night, At sí night está bien, night. Pero, pero on weekend, no, porque on weekend es fin de semana. So, no aplicaría. A ver. I... Podían haber dicho usually, porque usually es como el 80%. Oh. Puede ser ese 20% restante el sábado y el domingo que no tenemos clase. Entonces sería, I usually have English classes. Repeat. I usually, I usually have English class. Mm -hmm. English class. Mm -hmm. Um, teacher, I I can see, for example, I have my English class um five days a week. Eso les iba a decir. Te me adelantaste, correcto. Uh -huh. Puedo dar el número. Puede ser específico? también once a day. Eh, once a day, once a day, podría ser, pero eh, entraríamos otra vez con lo del Saturday and Sunday. So, five, five times, puedes decir five times uh, a week or five days a week, eso ya es una frecuencia exacta, so that's good, that's good, okay? So, next question, when do you have your English classes? I have my English class at night. Uh, no, because when is asking you for a date. It's como una fecha la que tienes que darme, como un día, como un mes. Hello. Hello, I students. have my English class Monday, Monday to Friday. Puede ser, I have my English class, I will have to say from, from Mondays to Fridays. Ok, está bien, está bien. Repeat, guys, I have English class from Mondays to Fridays. I have, I have English class from Mondays to Friday. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know them. What time do you start your English class? I start my English yes, class. At, I start my English class at, at 10 night. Okay. I, I, start, I start my English class one hour. Mm, no, I start. Yo inicio mi clase. I start. I start, I start my at my class at eight o'clock. At eight o'clock p.m. or a.m. p.m. 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 or or eight in the night at night at night. At night. In the evening. Oh. Remember, 6, 7, and 8 p.m. in the evening. In the evening, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What time do you finish your English classes? I finish my English class at 9 o'clock p.m. Marvelous. Thank you so much. Vaya, ahora vamos a hacer algo diferente. Les voy a dar yo una respuesta y ustedes me dan la pregunta. ¿Listos? ¿Ready? Yeah, Pueden tomar notas. Participation, guys. Ok. I play video games with my brother. Who do you play um video games with correct who do you play video games with 
Okay. Next. I cook lunch on Saturdays. When when do you cook cook lunch? When do you cook lunch? That's lunch. right. Lunch. I work I work at Inglés Corporativo. When, when do, do you, you work? work? Do you work? I'm sorry. When do you where work? Where do you work? Where do you work? When do you work? Or where? Where? Where, do you, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. I start work at 6 a.m. What time do you what start? Time? What time do you start? Start what? Start start the car? Start, start work? Work, yes. Excellent. I start work at 6 a.m. Good job. Uh, next. I hardly ever speak French. How often do you speak French? How, How often do you speak French? Well done, Elena. All right, guys, congratulations. Thank you for the practice. Nicely done. All right. Let's go to the next topic. Okay. Now we're going to learn can and can't. Repeat, can and can't. Can, can and can't. Can and can't. Esto es para expresar habilidades, right? Yo puedo y no puedo. Can and can't. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can, as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is, when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Can and can't. Okay, one more time. Can and can't. To the pronunciation. The pronunciation. Can what is the pronunciation of the affirmative? Can. 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 I can act. Can. Yo puedo. I can act. Siempre que us guys, este can y can't es un modal verb. Repeat, modal verb. Modal verb. Van a comenzar a usar a ver ustedes los modal verbs para hablar formalmente, ¿verdad? Profesionalmente, otro nivel. Este es el más básico. ¿Por qué les digo eso? Por una simple regla gramatical. Cada vez que usted use un modal verb Usted no va a usar la, la preposición to, el infinitivo to. No sé si se han fijado en la lista de verbos. Sale go to, speak to, uh, drive to. Ese to no lo necesitas acá cuando usas un old verb. Uh, tampoco ing ni terceras personas. No, el verbo va en su forma base tal cual sin ningún cambio. Sea que estés usando el positivo o el afirmativo. Por ejemplo, actuar se dice act. I can act. Repeat. I can act. 
I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Contraste. But, but, but I, I can't. can't. But I can't. I can't. I can't. Es entre la I la I. I can't. I can't sing very well. Very well. Mm -hmm. In my case, I can I can play the guitar. Yeah, I can play the guitar a little, but I can't. Uh, what sing uh, rancheras, for example? <laughs> what about you? Can you tell me something you can and something you can't do? Volunteers. For example, I can I can ride para motocicleta se dice ride. Can I can ride a motorcycle. I can ride a motorcycle, but I can't drive a trailer. Oh, that's impossible. Do you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. in, in my case. You're breaking up, Elena. Start again. Nope. Se ha quedado la llamada ahí. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. So, can and can't. Can and can't. Remember, podemos usar contraste con conjunction but. Okay? Can you tell me things that you can do and things you can't do? So, can you tell me things you can do and things you can't do? Go ahead, Juan. I can drive a car. I can't drive. Hello, hello. Me escuchan, chicos. Voy a desactivar la cámara, chicos. Tenemos interferencias. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, uh, Juan, can you repeat your example? I'm sorry. Okay, for example, I can drive a car. But I can't drive a motorcycle. Vaya, eh, eh, me usaste el mismo verbo, ¿verdad? Para los dos, ¿estás usando drive? Yes. Vaya, vamos a corregir ahí. Para manejar, conducir vehículos, ya, se hace taxi, car, eh, bus, Uber, eh, whatever, van a usar drive. Ya ahora, para motorcycle, motocicleta, eh, bicycle, eh, horse, caballo, eh, elephant, que también sería, vamos a usar ride, ride, okay. drive para carro, ride para motorcycle. Can you try again, Juan? Okay, okay, okay. I can't drive a car, but I can't ride a motorcycle. Fantastic pronunciation, Juancito. Congratulations. Let me Thank see. You. Y todos tomaron nota de esos verbos, ¿verdad? Ojo a no confundirlos. Eh, Daniela, go ahead. Um, I can play tennis, but I can't play soccer. Ok. Y can y can't usualmente lo usamos para hablar de nuestras habilidades, abilities, eh, áreas donde nosotros somos muy buenos, ¿verdad? So, continue, Miss Gabriela. I can cook, but I can't dance. You can't dance. But dance. you can cook. You can cook, huh? Deliciously. Delicious. It's prefer it's preferable. It's preferable for you to cook than dance, right? It's more important. It's more important cooking 
than dancing. <laughs> no problem. Let's go with Tamar. Go ahead. Okay. I can ride a bike, mm -hmm. but I can't drive a car. All right. All right. Great example. Thank you so much. Let me go with... ¿Quién más? Aquí me decía que... Okay, ya estamos. All right, all right. Carlos, go ahead. I can I can speak uh, Spanish, mm -hmm. but but I can speak uh, Germany. German. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Very well. No more examples? Bueno, excellent, excellent, excellent. Congratulations. Let's talk about abilities. Abilities. Como les decía, el can y el can't es para hablar de habilidades que nosotros tenemos. Activities where we are very good at. Actividades donde nosotros somos buenos, expertos, por decir algo. Right? Let's go to the next video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Now the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. 
finally we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus Alright guys, por cuestiones de tiempo vamos a quedarnos ahí con este topic. Lo voy a dejar acá guardadito. Ok, y nos vamos al attendance. Let's check. Ok, um, do we have uh, Alba Luz Cruz de Vázquez in the house? Present. Present teacher, yes. Thank you. Andrea Elizabeth González Burgos. Present teacher. Carlos David López Amaya. Present teacher. Okay, Present Claudia. Teacher. Yeah, got it, Carlos. Thank you. Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. Present teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. All right, Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. I'm here, teacher. Already, Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo Rodríguez. Present. All right, Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present, teacher. Hazel Rocío Pastrán de Enríquez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you much. Juan Jose Garcia Méndez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Karen, Karen Jami Led Pérez Martínez. Carla Xiomara Centeno um, de Valiente. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Alicia Gabriela Barrera Mejivar. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Noemi Dimas Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you, Laura. Um, Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. All right, Marvin Nivardo Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you much. Noelia Elizabeth Núñez de Castro. Missing in action. Ovidio Alexander Guevara Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you, Ovidio. Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Patricia Jamilet Martínez Landaverde. Present teacher. Thank you. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present. Thank you so much. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Missing in action. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Alice Ramos Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Telma Jamilet Hernández Mezquita. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. And Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. Perfect. ¿Alguien tenía una pregunta? Eh, teacher, le escribieron al chat eh, Noelia. Eso le iba a decir. Noelia, ¿qué dice Noelia? Sí. Noelia. Thank you. Let me see. Noelia, Noelia, Noelia. Ah, tú dices acá en el Zoom, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, en el chat de Zoom. Present teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is the song. Al final del módulo, pues cantamos la canción. Practice the song. See you tomorrow. Good night.
Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everyone. Good see ya, see ya. Good night. God bless. God bless. Peace and love.